Hi everyone, welcome to a video on winch rigging. This time we're going to be using two snatch blocks. I've previously done a video where I only use one snatch block and please review that if you're not sure about mechanical advantage or some of the other concepts I'm going to assume here. That's where I covered things like sig single line pull, double line pull and variations on that. And for this video we'll also be assuming 0% friction loss as well. Okay, so the first one we're going to look at is a triple line pull, but before we get into that, there's three types of rope to look at. One is your winch rope, which is obviously the rope coming out of your winch. Second one is a static line, which is when you connect something um, to something and then the rope doesn't move um, or get longer or shorter. And for example, that's um, from a snatch block to an anchor point. And the other one is a moving line. This is a line which moves, but it's not actually uh, connected to your winch. And you see how all of those three work in, in the uh, videos it goes on. All right, so here's our stuck vehicle. That's always going to be at the bottom of the screen in yellow. And we're going to have an anchor point up at the top. We're going to run our winch cable out. Remember that's in red. Put it around a snatch block and send it back to the vehicle. And then we're going to connect that snatch block to the anchor point. The, with the winch cable, we're going to um, put another snatch block on, connect that via static line in green to the vehicle, and then run that to the um, anchor point. So there's your triple line pull. Now the way that works is we're going to have our vehicle, um, it's going to require a force of a thousand kilograms to move it. Now the correct term is newtons, but I'm just going to run with kilos because that's what most people are comfortable with. Now uh, that force on the anchor point is going to be a thousand kilograms, and that load is going to be split across three lines. Imagine that that yellow vehicle is not being dragged horizontally but suspended vertically and you can see that there's three lines taking the load there. So basically we just divide um, that load by three and that means that we get 333 kilograms there and there and there. Now what that means is that the winch only needs to produce a force of 333 kilograms to move, uh, to exert a force on the anchor or to move itself of a thousand kilograms. So therefore we get um, 66 kilogram, 666 kilograms in that uh, green static line there. And it also means that we've got a three to one mechanical advantage. So um, one kilogram of effort results in three kilograms of force moving the vehicle but the downside is that you only move one third the distance so for every meter you take in you're only going to, of winch rope you take in you're only going to move the vehicle 333 centimeters now this is good when you need extra mechanical advantage you've got two blocks and you don't have a moving line all right now we move into the spanish burton now with the Spanish Burton, um, again we've got our uh, vehicle stuck there, again we've got an anchor point, we're going to run a winch line um, out to the uh, snatch block down towards the vehicle. Then we're going to take another line, but this time it's a moving line represented in blue to another snatch block and down to the vehicle. So this is what I mean by having a moving line. It goes around a snatch block, um, but it's not actually uh, connected to the winch. and. Um, it's it's completely separate line from the winch line and then we're going to just connect that second snatch block to the anchor point okay now the way that works is we've still got our thousand kilogram stuck force there still got a thousand kilogram required on the anchor point um, we've got two lines supporting the load there and they're going to be split let's say 500 and 500 because it's a thousand kilogram uh, force there so there's those two and then we've got two lines splitting that 500 load so then that go 250 and 250 there so what that means is that we've got a mechanical advantage of four to one not three to one like with the classic double line pull there and that means that um, for every meter of winch pulled in you're only going to move forwards 250 centimeters okay so this is the most efficient use of two snatch blocks because um, obviously you've got a four to one advantage there but you do need a moving line and typically that is a synthetic rope winch extension it won't work um, with a winch extension strap Okay, so if you're going to rig something like a Spanish Burton, then you do need a rope which isn't your winch rope, which will go around a snatch block. Now, often people would used to use these, which are winch extension straps, and uh, nowadays we use these, which are 
basically like a winch rope but um, not designed to go onto your winch because they've got an eye at each end. So these are a synthetic rope winch extension. Now I much prefer using these over these for a few different reasons. One is strength. Um, this webbing here is often a weak point. You can see that it's sort of a point there where, where that um, might fail. Whereas here we've got a nice spliced um, length there and you can tell that because it's fairly thick here and it gets progressively thinner as the inside of the splice goes. So it's a lot stronger from that point of view. You can always take your um, winch extension rope and actually put it on your winch rope if on your winch if needed. To, um, you don't even have to cut that end off, just wind around and then uh, you can actually use that as an emergency winch rope whereas this you can't. Um, this is a bit lighter, I put this on the scales earlier and that's about sort of 700-800 grams, um, that's about uh, 900. But really another huge advantage is the ability to put it through a snatch block. So obviously this will not go through a snatch block at all, it won't really go through that, whereas the rope um, definitely will. So we can just do that and it works fine take that out put it around a block like like so and that works perfectly well all right now we're going to move on to the triple line static pull and we've got our stuck vehicle again there and this time we're going to use another vehicle to winch it out so again a thousand kilograms worth of stuck force there a thousand kilograms on the winching vehicle we run out that um, winch line we put it around the snatch block bring it back to the vehicle but not quite put it around the snatch block put a static line there and then run it from that second snatch block to the stuck car and then run from the first snatch block to the stuck car as well so there's your triple line static pulling another vehicle so again we've got three lines supporting the load just as we did before and we've got three 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 in that line 666 in that line because that's two three three threes um, and so it's exactly the same as before just um, just basically inverted and 666 in that line so three 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 plus 666 and those two equals the thousand kilogram of pull that um, we need okay so that is a three to one mechanical advantage there with a speed of one third of a single line pull one thing i should say when we, we i say it's a third of a single line pull it won't really be because the more load you put an electric winch under um, the slower it runs so sometimes when you do a multi-line pull be it a double or, or triple line pull then you do find that the winch doesn't go half as speed because it actually works a lot quicker when there's less load on it whereas if you do a single line pull you're almost stalling out that winch is going to go very very slowly indeed so this is when you need three to one mechanical advantage and there's no need for a or you don't have a moving line but um and uh that that's probably the best time to use this particular setup all right now we're going to go for the same again triple line static offset anchor so here is our stuck vehicle and here is um, our winch car a thousand kilograms there run that out to a snatch block to another snatch block and this time we're going to set it to an offset anchor over there and we're going to run that from the second snatch block down to the stuck vehicle in a static line from the um, first snatch block to the vehicle there as well and again same three lines supporting the load 333 three, three there 333 three, three there 333 three, three there and two three threes uh, 6666 six, six, six. that's what the load is on on that main static line there and of course at the anchor there's 666 six, six as well now of course this gives us a 3 to 1 mechanical advantage and speed of 0.3. Now this is handy to use when you um, want to recover a vehicle with maximum mechanical advantage or you just want to reduce the load on your vehicle because the load on the vehicle here is only one third of the force required to actually move the, um, the stuck vehicle. So that's good if you just want to reduce the load on your vehicle or if your vehicle is going to be pulled forward for example down a hill or on slippery ground then this is a good way to reduce that force required. And if you look in my other video about single line and um, double line pulls then you'll see that I've got some tips in there as to how you can secure a vehicle um, when it is winching another vehicle. Okay so here we've got a double pulley setup set for a three to one mechanical advantage and that starts with our weight at the bottom there which is reading about just over 1600 grams so then we come up to our first pulley which splits the load here into three so we've got one two three lines there so that should be a bit over um, 500 grams on each so if we follow this one up then we find that this is indeed about 500 grams and this one should be about double that 
about yeah, about, uh, about 1,100, and that's because this one has got uh, two lines in it, each of which are 500, and that one is the single 500. All right, now we're going to go for the Spanish Burton static anchor. So again, we've got our stock vehicle 1,000 kilos, and there's um, our winch car. We run the winch rope out around the snatch block back to the vehicle we run out a moving line from that first snatch block put it around the second snatch block and then we pull that back to the car and then we run a static line from that second snatch block to the vehicle so we've got two lines supporting the load there two lines supporting the load there and of course what's going to happen then is that we've got 250 in both of those lines and obviously only one of those lines is being pulled in by the windshield is I'm um, just connected back to recovery point and that 250 plus 250 it was 500 so we got 500 in both of those lines and the um, that gives us the total of a thousand we need in order to be uh, pulling that vehicle out so again speed here is a quarter uh, mechanical advantage is four to one so this is again a really good way to um, use a four to one mechanical advantage but you do need a moving line um, to do it Okay, and then we come to number six, which is the Spanish Burton offset anchor. So again, we've got our stock vehicle of 1,000 kilograms. Again, um, we run a uh, winch line out. We put it around a snatch block and we put it back to an anchor this time, not to the vehicle. We run another one out to a snatch block, back to the anchor, and we run a static line from that second snatch block to the stuck vehicle. Two lines supporting the load there, two lines supporting the load there. And as far as forces go, yes, we've got a thousand kilograms um, uh, force there, but this time we've only got a quarter of that, 250 kilograms, um, on the vehicle itself because we've got 250 there and on the other line and then that gives us the 500 if we add those two 250s up and then um, that gives us 750 or three quarters of the load onto the anchor point and yet we can still manage to exert a force of a thousand kilograms on the stuck vehicle then that's good because then we've got a mechanical advantage of four to one and you've only got a quarter of the load on your vehicle which is pretty good but um, you do need a moving line to do that but massive reduction of force on the winch car all right, so let's take a look at a twin pulley um, four to one mechanical advantage setup. And that starts with the weight down the bottom there, which weighs a bit over 1600 um, grams. And then we come up to our first pulley here. Now, what that does is split the load between this line and that line. So there's 800 grams in each. Then we come up to this pulley here. And again, the load is split between 800 uh, 800 total so that's 400 there 400 there so that should give us about 400 up at that one and as you can see yep that's correct it's about 400 ish there and the rest of the load should be taken on this one it's about 1200 again what you'd expect there because that's got the 400 from this line and about 800 from that line which is the split there so there you go that's a four to one mechanical advantage with two pulleys so there's six ways you can winch using two snatch blocks and if you found this video useful I do have another one on winch redirects with snatch blocks so please check that out and also don't forget the original one which I made uh, about winching with a single snatch block. Anyway thank you for watching I hope you found this video useful and please subscribe to my channel for more content on four wheel drives, cars, towing, racing and whatever else I can find interesting.